In this tutorial we're going to learn how to illustrate a primary key attribute uh, for an entity in an ER diagram using Microsoft Word. Now the primary key is a unique key uh, that can uniquely identify an, an entity. It's also what they call a candidate key. Uh, for example, for an employee we may have a social security number which is a unique identifier because we know that no one else in the world is supposed to have the same social security number. But due to uh, laws like HIPAA and uh, just confidentiality, we might not want to use that as uh, a primary key. Um, we may still store it in a database for personnel records and stuff, but uh, we may want to keep it hidden from the uh, general population or the programmers. So we might also create an employee ID, uh, much like a student ID at a university that would still be unique. It would be, uh, there would not be a duplicate one in a diagram. Um, so how would we illustrate that? So uh, basically an, a primary key is, is simply an atomic attribute that we know is going to be unique. For example, uh, date of birth in our diagram here, um, there's uh, several employees that could hold the state, same date of birth, so it would not be unique. But it is an atomic attribute. So we're going to copy this, and we're going to go over and we'll paste, and we'll just move it over to the left here of our diagram. You can place it anywhere. And we're going to rename this FID for employee ID. Now, how we designate a primary key on an ER diagram is uh, simply by underlining it. So we can right click and choose underline. And then the last thing we need to do is we just need to uh, show the connection between the employee ID and the employee and we'll go back to insert our shapes and go to our lines and just select our line. And that is how you would illustrate a primary key in an ER diagram using Microsoft Word.